You know, we can learn so much from animals. I, I always say, put the stick down. I'm looking at William here, he's got his stick. But if we took the stick off him, say in 20 minutes time when we go home, he'll forget about the stick five seconds later. You put the stick down, he forgets about the stick. He goes home and he gets on with his day, he smells the next dog, he wheezes on the next bush, does the next poop, eats the next meal. Humans, if you took the stick off a human being, what would they do? They'd be filthy that the stick was taken off them. They'd analyse that stick, they'd analyse what happened, they'd ask themselves why. They'd go to the park the next day looking for the stick, angry about the stick, blaming others for the stick. They'd have resentments and fears and all this stuff from the past. They'd drag the past into the future, they'd create baggage from the past. That's what humans do. Animals put the stick down, they forget about the stick, they move on, they find another stick. They don't commiserate the stick that was, that stick that they earned, that they used to have, that was theirs. It was their possession. We learn so much from animals if we can be still enough to watch and be with them, not be on our phone with them. You walk down the park here, everyone's on their phone with them, not being with them. They're not, we're not learning from them. Animals have got it right, they're present. We are rarely present. Animals are always present. Put the stick down, they forget the stick. If we did that, we'd be filthy about that for the next six months and we'd have hang-ups about sticks and why the world's not fair. We can learn so much from our pets.